great day, kings and queens. How are y'all? Hope you're having a wonderful night. I am um, just dropping by to share a couple of nuggets with you all. Um, some things that have been on my heart. And I've been talking to the Lord about, uh, you know, I, he has a way of making you take off from life. Even if he got to force it. You know what I'm talking about? And so, yeah, I've been supping with the Lord for the past couple of days. And, and humbly, I say involuntarily, but to God be the glory, he know what he's doing. Anyway, um, y'all, I'm just going to read this passage and, you know, we're going to talk a little bit about it. Let's talk. And it reads as thus on Proverbs 31. We always talk about the Proverbs 31 woman, but I hardly hear people talking about the Proverbs 31 man. Well, um, hold on one second. Let me fix this. Um, in Proverbs 31, it reads as thus, the sayings of King Lemuel contains this message, which his mother taught him to, O oh son, O oh my son, O oh son of my womb, O oh son of my vows, do not waste your strength on women on those who ruin kings. Got a whole bunch of them out there in the streets. A whole bunch of them. I digress. Um, is it not for kings, O Lemio, to guzzle wine? Rulers should not crave alcohol. For if they drink, they may forget the law and not give justice to the oppressed. Look at the whole Democratic Party. Whole house. My whole house. All of them. Not just the DMs. All of them. Irrelevant. But relevant. Alcohol is for the dying. And wine for those in bitter distress. Let them drink to forget their poverty. And remember their troubles no more. That's a lie, because when you get sober, it's coming right back to your dome, that part. Um, speak up for those. This is the part. Is this the part you take my heart and wipe your feet? Oh, speak up for those. This is 31 and 8. Speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves. Ensure justice for those being crushed. Yes. Speak up for the poor and helpless and see that they get justice. This is what the kings is supposed to do. The Proverbs 31 man should be doing or, you know. So I've been pondering on this for about a year, like, like more than that, like for real. And um, I'm reminded of the the Black Panthers, the original Black Panthers, who were educated and a power, a force to be reckoned with against the systems of this world for the people. I'm reminded before they was corrupted from the inside out. Let me just throw that out there and make sure I just say that. Before they were corrupted from the inside by the sisters for the love of money and power and prestige. And you know, well, you know, <laughs> you know how that ended up, right? So, uh, but when they, that that's really what 
drew me to wanting to be a Blackstone. Ooh, I'm talking too much. Too much information. Anyway, that's what encouraged me when I was out there back there back then and all of that. Praise the Lord. But by the time I got in it, it was, you know, had done, you know, had been dismantled from the inside out. So I say that all of that to say this is what they were, they stood for. Justice for the women and children. They made a way. They had set up resources and had programs and different things to cultivate the communities so that they would, the women wouldn't so much had to depend on the systems of this world. And so my question is, now, where are the Proverbs 31 men? I'm reminded a few years, a couple years ago when um, Grandmaster Jay was on the scene and um, there was discrepancies because he was distributing truth that we all should have already known, but he was distributing truth and speaking truth to power and teaching others to do so as well. And when, but when they, he got prideful or whatever happened with him, I pray that all goes well with that. But you know, all of that, all of that I think is smoke screens anyway, but irrelevant. So my question is mostly for the men. Because I could go out and hit the streets all day long and wouldn't have a problem and ain't scared to do it in real, in real life, real life, R real life. But I have to ask what, you know, um, I see and I get, you know, certain things come to, you know, through my phone or on my different, different feeds of the different um, activists or what have you and, you know, people that's, you know, trying to make a mark out there um, with ancestral things being uncovered. And, but the army that God is needing to be established is going lacking because our men are fighting over position or uh, fighting over who's the best or who should be in charge or, you know, trivial foolish stuff instead of coming together and unifying with a plan to combat the common enemy. And so, you know, I know that y'all know that God already gave me the plan. He already did. Hercules, Hercules, he did. But I can't share that just haphazardly. Um, my prayer is that our men get on one accord first and find out the fullness of what, what this is all about and how to lead and how to govern from a seated position in God so that we can have a firm foundation and get our footing because it's a lot coming down the pipeline. These people ain't, you know, it's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. They not distributing. It's a lot that they're not, you know, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. And it's a lot of smoke screens. It's a lot of illusion. It's a lot of lies on top of lies and lies and more lies. It's popping off out here. And, you know, we got to get a clue. We must first unify. And, you know, come together and stop, you know, I've been seeing a lot of stuff where the bros and the sisters was, you know, smashing and all of that. You can't do that when you're trying to build a kingdom. When you're trying to build a foundation. 
Y'all, we can't be having all that popping off because then folks' emotions go be all unraveled and stuff and, you know, stuff. Yeah, that's like bumping your sister. That's like when I was banging, I wasn't screwing under the molds. They probably would have wished it would popped off like that, but it wasn't going down like that. We was about that business. We was about that life. Go get this thing done. That's the, you know what I'm talking about? Ain't none of that. I had one that I was dealing with and probably should have left him where it was. Praise the Lord. I leave you flirty guy. But honey, anyway. <laughs> Listen. Speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves. Ensure justice for those being crushed. Yes, speak up for the poor and helpless and see that they get justice. Now, I'm grateful for the, you know, the little Emmett Till deal, you know, praise the Lord. Jehovah Jireh. That's my man. He is my provider. I'm grateful for the little turn, the little figuring out the, the, the Emmett Till deal. But, uh, and that's all fine. Praise the Lord. But, uh, we got stuff popping off out here in these streets like every day. But the key thing is for us to unify and equ be equipped for what's coming down the pipeline. Because y'all do know that, um, <laughs> let me just say this. What if All of the elite of the elite and all the 1%ers, 2%ers, 3%ers, all of the elite, the ones that got the little stars in Hollywood thing, all that. What if, you know, all of those that's in the different industries in the, uh, that's ranking in the industries, what if they all knew a secret that they're not supposed to relinquish? to anyone and you know th this secret that they uh, are holding is vital for the people today and though we should live our lives as though Christ is going to crack the sky yesterday um the truth of the matter is wait for it because I know y'all ain't ready. If the book says that is the, the world is, this is a world without end and the truth of the matter is 2,000 some odd years We've been waiting for Jesus to crack the sky, right? Right? Then, the truth, the Godstones were a guide to let certain people know or to remind certain people that, you know, we're only supposed to have this amount of people in the world and if we, you know, to... To keep down all the people in the world, you got to do this, this, this. You know, it's, this is why you got pandemics every 400 some odd years. You know, they have to exterminate so many people uh, in order for their agenda to come into fruition in its fullness. But because... Some of the believers, some of us, have uncovered their agenda, so to speak, in so many words, in so many ways. You know, um, there's a lot of friction going on in high places. And so my question again is to the men, to the kings. Um, it's time to stand up, sugars. 
it's time for y'all to rise up. Because, you know, women ain't really supposed to be walking around with, you know, all the time with AI-15s and, you know, loaded up, strapped up, you know, walk around like a bunch of dudes. We are not. We don't have a problem with it. However, that's for the guys. And so, where are our men that are standing for righteousness? against this tyranny that's been going on, you know, I'm going to say for a couple of years, you know, but it was going on before that, but, you know, a couple of years, it just really went there. And, you know, we still are, you know, people of, you know, melanation are still bound by this Biden regime who has, Literally sliced off, sliced the whole American pie off to whosoever will. So, again, my question is where are our men? Where are our bros? And, you know, where are they? You know, one, you know, these talk about they get the power and these in their hand power. And everybody is, you know, uh, ain't nobody on one accord. You got everybody divided. These is with this. It's just like what it was in the days of Jesus. Paul says, you know, you know, I'm glad I ain't baptized nobody except uh, uh, Apollos and somebody else because, you know, is Christ divided? Because y'all talking about. We were this one, and we were that one, and we were this one, and then we were that one, and where's Christ? Where's God at in this thing, you know? So, we got to get it fixed, y'all. And if our men get in their positions, rightful positions, and quit worried about houses, cars, land, and a man, and what this one got, and what that one got, and this, that, and the other, stuff that don't even matter, that part, and unify in a spirit of unity and one is with a plan. You know, we need that. Because y'all tripping out here in these streets. But I want y'all to hear something. Why this phenomenon on the left uh, is so troubling. Uh, people like yourself, strong black conservatives with compelling backstories, Lieutenant Governor, they, they reserve a special degree of hatred for, for men and women uh, like you. Like me. Hello, you're Absolutely, Listen. man. Thank you for having me here. You know, if you look back throughout the history of the United States of America, Democrats have notoriously this despised Representative, black people uh, who just don't, who don't go along Mark to Robinson, along, who will push back against uh, North Carolina Lieutenant Governor and against dangerous ideologies that are damaging to them. It was true uh, when Democrats uh, wore Klan robes, and it's true now that uh, Democrats have switched and now wear... Uh, swastikas and a uh, hammer and sickles. All of that. Uh, the Democratic Party has not changed their ideology towards black people. It has always been an ideology of At control. All. And when they cannot control you, when they cannot control your thought, they will hate you and they will try to destroy you. It's been done to me in several venues uh, since I started on this venture and uh, it's nothing new. Uh, Lieutenant Governor, they, they, this isn't anything new. This is a decades-long war uh, against the black community. You know, the war on the black family, on, on, on the nuclear black family, is generational. And the results of that war have been devastating. Our greatest resource, our human capital in the black community, has been destroyed in areas run by liberals. Your thoughts on that? Well, you know, it started, all, it started back with the Great Society program and with the uh, machinations of the Democratic politicians who knew, uh, who felt like they could get more votes from black folks if they gave handouts. Uh, one of the most damaging things that's ever been done in this country is when they replaced the black father with a welfare check. That and part. the decline of the black family, the black nuclear family, and the rise of single parent households, uh, that has been one of the most damaging things to black communities. Not to say that many of those single black mothers are not doing a fantastic job, but I believe right. black communities would do so much better with a mother and father in the home. And we need to reverse that trend. It's been one, the, one thing that's been very, very damaging to, this, uh, to our community. Lieutenant Governor, I got about a minute left, but uh, is the grift coming to an end? 
Democrats taking advantage of black voters. You gave a viral speech in a in a black church. I played on my show when you were last on, and you got a round a rousing round of applause. Is is this coming to an end? Their monopoly over black voters. Absolutely, and I'm glad you brought that up, Dan, because that's a great example to end on. When I made comments in a white church, it's they Mark went viral, and the news media jumped all over me and questioned me and threatened me and all kinds of stuff. But those comments I made in that black church, the mass media refuses to air those. Why? Because I was speaking to black people, and black people agreed overwhelmingly. And that ideology, they cannot tolerate. They don't want to see black people push against their narratives. And in that situation, that's what happened. Folks, watch that. So... You understand the words that came out of his mouth? Until we, the people, come on one accord, come out of the whole Democratic Party. Now, I'm not saying that Republicans are, you know, much, much better. All I'm saying is, <sighs> y'all see where being um of the democratic administration of the old biden administration has gotten the world thus far and now there's about to be you know i don't know if they making it lawful but this mandate is coming back up Uh, yeah, when the doctors literally saying that it doesn't work. <laughs> so why are we still pushing all of this? And where are the men to stand up and say, this is wrong? We're not going down like that. It's not going down like that. You know, what it? Where are the men that's going to speak up for those who can't speak up for themselves? You know, where are the men that's going to stand and having done all to stand, then still stand. Like, if the men stand up, Inflation then the, the women will follow. And then we won't have to worry about our children being indoctrinated and walking around a bunch of stuck up pin cushions. Because that is the ultimate goal with this mandate. To have everybody on the grid. To have everybody stuck up. And on the grid. With ailments that are caused by the stuck em up. That may not transpire right after getting it. Some do and some don't. But there's always a discrepancy that takes place in the body after one has um, partaken in receiving the stuff of up. So again, I say, where are the righteous branch of kings I'm not talking about compromised kings because we know a lot of the elite have been, a whole lot of the elite have been compromised. So many, it's sad to say. And so many with collars. It's sad to say. And so, and, and, and what grieves the Holy Spirit is those with the collars or 
I guess you could one would say celebrity status to the degree where they'd rather push the agenda of Satan even in their edifices rather than tell the people the truth. Now, I believe God has a problem with that. This says, <laughs> speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves and ensure justice to those who are being crushed. Now, the things that you all up there and up there and up there and up there, and you know who I'm talking about. I ain't got, you know who you are. I ain't got to say no names. I, I, I don't want to even put you on blast like that shit. The things that you all have been standing up for and being so-called activists have been literally staged by your O'Biden regime or staged by the systems of this world and you all get behind that and shoot the eight ball like, you know what I'm talking about? Just shoot. Just shoot. No questions asked. They just give you a call. We need y'all to whoop, 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 and push this whoop, 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 whoop. Why did they make so much noise about George Floyd, though, for real? And all the people in the world that have been whooped up their side of their head, that was the one that changed the whole entire world to Black Lives Matter, in which Black Lives still don't matter, even the Black Lives, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, but there were certain folk with a voice and influence that pushed the agenda for Satan and had the people and all the people, you know, black people chatting, conjuring up demons. And nobody has, you know, after that was over, then it went to the next thing. And it's like, well, we're not going to try to fix none of this that we broke. Because technically, we allowed it. We did. And, I'm, you know, I understand why people, you know, trying to run from the church and the whoop, whoop, whoop to do. But that's because they ain't had no strength in God in the first place. Because, you know, if you faint in the day of adversity, then you ain't had no strength at all. If I fainted in the day of adversity, I'd be in a cuckoo house right now. Trust me. Because I'm always got something, it's always something popping off because the enemy don't like us. But anyway, back to our men. If our men stand up and unify and stop screwing everything, didn't y'all hear the thing say? Do not waste your strength on women who, who ruin kings. Y'all been doing that for eons. That's why, you know, you know, you know. <laughs> you know and at the cost of the people's souls is that worth that I mean we do understand that y'all understand that y'all understood what the guidelines were meant the guidestones was on the guidestones and though they've been in Georgia since they've been in Georgia Folk just, you know, thought it was a tourist site. They didn't really pay attention to what the intel, what it really, really stood for. And so, because you all have the knowledge of the what's in the guide zone, that's why y'all, you know, changing stuff up. And the people is like, walking around like this. Uh, they don't know what the hell going on. And we, you know, not breaking it down to where a little child could understand, but we can break down, you know, when something transpired out there in them streets 
and the, the, the systems want you to push an agenda. I'm just talking. At some point, our our men, just like this young man, and I love Dan Bajino, love him. But uh, this gentleman, uh, the Lieutenant Governor of um, North Carolina, he said some really profound things. And, I, you know, why, why don't we think like this? Why don't we think outside of the box? Why are we still stuck in this ancestral agreement? that we made with our grandmama who didn't know no better. Or, you know, you know, that our great grandparents. Cause they only told us to do what Master told them to do because they couldn't read. And did you hear what he said? That when there was Klansmen and all of that stuff. Like y'all, we gonna have to come forget what we learned. Forget what they taught us in the in the indoctrination camps of education. Forget what they taught y'all in the HBCUs and, the, you know, this school and that school and all of the, you know, Ivy League schools or what have you. Forget what they taught you and find out the truth and teach that. Teach the people that because that, the truth and them 66 clips, it is what is going to sustain us for all the creation, all the generations, just all generations. All the truth of this word. It's going to sustain us throughout all generations. I want to. Um, Now, I'm not going to hold y'all long tonight. I just, I've been holding out on all of this stuff. And I know I'm, you know, going here, there, and everywhere. But it's our, our men are going to have to stand up and take their rightful place. So that the women can follow suit. And the order could be in the house. This is the letter from Jude, a slave of Jesus Christ and a brother of James. I'm right to all, to all I am writing to all who have been called by God the Father who loves you and keeps you safe in the care of Jesus Christ. May God give you more and more mercy and peace and love. The danger of false teachers. Dear friends, I have been eagerly planning to write to you about the...